And he talked about how Trey and Luca's careers are obviously always going to be linked because they got traded for one another on draft night. Mm-hmm. Why is the like the gap between Luca and Trey so wide? And I'm saying this because both of them are the like they play very old, very heliocentric style offense. Like everything goes through them. They both are offensive engines for their team. They both can give you, like, easily could average 28, 30 points a game with 10-plus assists. Easily. They could, like, sleepwalk to those stats most nights. Both of them have led their team to conference finals appearances. Neither one of them has, like, gone further than that. But when the people talk about, when people talk about the two of them, it's like the gap is crazy. It's like Luka is all the way up here and Trey Young can't make the all-star game of <laughs> 27 and 10. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I'm not going to sit up here and like go as far as say, I think Trey Young is better than Luca. I think Luca is better, but <clears throat> which I think it's like, that should be consensus. I just feel like we're reaching the point where it's getting disrespectful to Trey to act like the gap is like crazy. Like, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Right, I, like, I just think, I I think there is definitely a gap, but it's more a gap in the side of Trey Young disrespect, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, I think just Trey Young should be talked about a little bit higher, rather than like trying to bring them a little bit closer. It should just bring Trae, bring Trey Young up because I do think Luca is at like this top. Like people call him top five player in the league. There's some people who say he's a top three player in the league. And I believe it's rightfully so. I believe he is at that level. And I still feel like he has a lot of room to get better to where, listen, Luca, with a good team around him, could get to the point where he's winning championships. You know what I mean? Like he's at that, like could potentially be an all-time great. And I just, I don't, personally, I don't think Trey Young can get to that level. So I mm-hmm. do think that there's a gap, but I agree. I just feel like, it's more on the side of Trey Young disrespect because you you said it like they've accomplished the same things right now. Trey Young's numbers aren't bad. Like he's twenty seven and ten is amazing. They like, are like the only like what Luca probably put up what thirty a night last year. Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two and eight versus twenty seven and ten. I would say he's a obviously he's a better rebounder. I think Luca is a better is a better all around scorer. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just think, like I said, I just think it's Trey Young disrespect. I do think Luca is. I, I think there's a definite gap. Like I think Luca is at that one of the best players in the NBA, and I don't think Trey could ever really reach that. You know what I mean? So I think that's the reason why, along with the fact that you know Trey Young's this villain, like he just has that. You know, you know, when certain people just get that that narrative to them, and it's just hard to eliminate it. I think he just has that narrative, and a lot of people just don't like him for some reason. And defensively. Luca's not a good defender. Luca's actually a bad defender. So it's not like yeah. it's a, a big gap there. Right. Like <laughs> Trey Young is like is like a terrible defend. Like Luca's bad too, but Trey Young is terrible. And like Luca's bad to the point where like he just is not trying. I feel like because Luca is six 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 seven six seven. Right. So that's like, what I'm saying. He has the tools, the genetic tools to be a good defender. I'm not. And saying he don't even he's... need to be good. He just needs right. to be because I don't. He's not athletic, so you don't even need right. to be like a great defender. You don't you even just need to be can't a two way. Horrible. Exactly. Like just don't be a liability. Trey Young just doesn't even have the tools to not right. be a liability. So um, I think all those things are a combination of the reason why people talk about them like it's just like night and day like it's like luke you're talking about the next lebron and then like a six man you know what i mean like i don't yeah. think it's people talk about it like that and it's not like that i think people just need to respect trey young a little bit more okay because that, that, i think how you put it is right like i don't think it has anything to do with people overrating luca as much as people are disrespecting trey young because mm-hmm. like i said i think there's a gap there i think luca is a better scorer I think Luca, in terms of like raw passing ability, is like top two, three in the NBA. Like, Mm -hmm. I agree. I will forever like the pass last year against Indiana, where he was like triple teamed on the baseline and threw like a curveball that like went out of bounds and spun back to the other corner is like crazy. That just takes wild ability, and then like his court vision at the same time is like. 
it's different from like so many of Trey Young's assists come from lobs, like mm-hmm. his ability to like work the pick and roll and like hit those quick hitting lobs to Clint. I think Clint and Onyeka both were top two in the league in alley oop dunks last year. <laughs> like, how do you Makes have sense. two like two people and they're both top two? Like, you're throwing an insane amount of lobs. Luca has like that otherworldly court vision that's like bro you like it's like you're looking at the like you're playing basketball in real life but like you're looking at it like you're on 2k like you could see the whole court at all i'm finding times. people in the corner i'm finding people on the roll right. i'm finding people in the block like, i'm yeah. going up for a layup i'm looking at the rim and i threw the ball behind my head and somebody just is yeah. right there it's like that is where the gap is i just like you said i feel like people will be acting like trey young is like this bum in comparison yeah. <laughs> and it's like bro you can't be a bum putting up those stats like you can give me the defensive argument like that's fair like he is a very bad defender <laughs> and again like I don't think he'll ever be a decent defender and that just is what it is bro is 6'1 160 like he just doesn't have the tools for it right it's gonna be tough that's part of why I think the DeJounte fit makes sense right like you bring in a guard who can try to help patch up the defense that trey young can't provide Mm -hmm. um and somebody who hopefully like they can learn to play a little bit more off ball the both of them like that is something that i think could what would be the next step in trey young's game especially if dejounte is going to stay there long term is if he can learn to be more effective off ball, because there's been times in the past where it's like, bro, if Trae Young does not have the ball in his hands, he's just standing there. Mm-hmm. There's no motion. There's no involvement in the offense. Like, he just is there. If he can learn to be more of a threat off ball, if he can, you know, some of this is going to come down to coaching too, like get him in, you know, off ball actions, you know, screens, coming off of pin downs, whatever it is. Bro is one of the better shooters in the league. Efficiency has been kind of up and down the last couple seasons. Um, but if he gets it going, can shoot from deep, can shoot from super deep, like with the best of them. Um, and again, 27 and 10. Like, yeah, it's just those are ridiculous stats. Um, and he has the playoff performances too. So I have Trey Young higher on my list than you. Um, you know what it is too, though? Um, that I just thought about. I think another thing is the fact that Trey Young has had bad moments, and like you can't really think of any bad moment that Lucas had. Like Trey Young, like that Miami series. I mean, they, he, was he did just boxed. miss the playing tournament. He did. <laughs> that is true. Um, but again, I I feel like Luca is okay. So some of it you could say Luca is kind of in that. Certain people kind of get babied a little bit. I feel like. You know what I mean? Because if, like, if Trey Young was the 11 seed and, like, missed the playoffs, he'd be traded. <laughs> like, they'd, like, he'd he be was out in, of there. He was in trade talks this year going – he made the playoffs. And before that game, there are rumors that he, like, he's on the table to, like, right. get traded. Yeah. Luka so. literally, like, they didn't even make the play-in tournament. And it's yeah. like, we have to put a better roster around him. What, <laughs> what can we do to make him happy or else he's going to ask out? Like, <laughs> he does get babied a little bit. But, again, I just think that it's because of the, the ceiling difference. It's like Luka at his best. There's no one on the planet that can stop him. There's no team on the – bro, what he does to the Clippers it feels like annually now. Like, <laughs> he whether he loses the series or not – he destroys them. Like, Paul George and Kawhi probably has nightmares about Luka. Because it's like, you going to guard him? The three on the Black Lives Matter logo is one of the craziest It was things. crazy. It was wild, bro. But it's like, all right, you can try. You can take your turn guarding him. My 6'8 elite defender, Kawhi, you're, you're food. All right, Paul George, my other 6'8 wing defender, you're food. Marcus Morris, put a smaller guy on him. Like, he, it does not matter. There's no team. There's no there's no system there's no scheme that's gonna stop him trey young we've seen like you kind you get taller lengthy defenders on him he, you can make him struggle a little bit yeah. i will say on the side of trey young though 
that could be attributed to the roster construction, how we talked about he's the only guy that creates for anyone on that right. team. So it's like, if I'm That's why the... he got boxed against the Heat two years ago. It's like, yeah. literally, it's like, if we just don't let Trey Young get it going, like, what can this Atlanta Hawks team do? Yeah. Nothing at all. <laughs> exactly. So I do feel like that's a little bit a part of it. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess I, those Dallas teams, not a lot of people was creating either. But, I mean, it, like again, that goes into the fact that Luka is 6-7. It's hard. It's gonna be harder to disrupt disrupt him anyways, and Trey Young is right. like six one. So, those those bad moments could be another reason why I feel like he gets disrespected, and they make make it seem like that gap is like completely, you know, what I'm saying completely wide. But <sighs> I don't know. I, I I agree. I think Luca. I think Luca gets babied a little bit. I will say that. Like Luca has a little bit of that. Who else? Like Steph. I feel like Steph gets babied a little bit. Um. I mean, if we're talking about cross sports, I feel like a guy like Justin Herbert, like Pat Mahomes gets baby a little bit. Even though he gets a little bit of slack, but the Pat Mahomes get a little get baby a little bit. I, there's certain people in sports that like, yeah, to an extent they can do no wrong. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I, I look. I, I think it's fair. I just I, when I was listening to him talk to Draymond about it, and Draymond is sitting here walking through it. He was like, like I said, like y'all have really a, accomplished. The same, like, it's not like one of y'all's won a championship or something. The other one hasn't made it out of the first round. Mm -hmm. Y'all both have brought your team to the conference finals. Both of those were, like, unexpected for y'all to get that far. And to get there, y'all had to have very, very good performances. Y'all both can super engine offense. Um, it's like, why do you feel like the gap is so big? And Trey Young, like, was open and honest about it. He brought up the villain thing, too, about, like, you know, he kind of get he's he he has that like narrative about him and that's probably never gonna change. Um he was like every arena that he goes to now, like, he doesn't even interact with the fans, like the fans randomly just be chanting like F Trey Young. Like I should nowhere. look he be a plus on him too though, because it's like bro, if he's going through all that, if he literally has like F Trey Young chance, like he's getting he got spat on before, like <laughs> And he comes out there and drops 30 and 10. Like, that should low-key be a plus on him. The fact that he goes out there, goes into Madison Square Garden, hears those chants, brings on the chants, and then eliminates y'all. Bro hit the dagger in downtown New York City, walked onto the Knicks logo, and then bowed to the crowd. That's hard. That's so that's hard. disrespectful, bro. <laughs> that is one of the, like, bro, that is one of the most iconic playoff performances in recent history just like not even like from what's going on but just like the outside off the court kind of drama and how he reacted to it like he really played up to it like like the wwe or something like, yeah, 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 bro, like that was hard bro that, um, that was hard yeah 